Hello everyone, welcome to episode 136 of Wool is the Answers live YouTube extravaganzas. I'm Marie. I'm Dominique. Together we're Wool is the Answer. Nice to see you. I now have to wait till I've done all that before I dare touch the button. I was just laughing before I came on. Look, my it must be the, the way the sunlight's coming in the room. My face is a different colour to my neck. It's different shadows. In real life, it's not this different. I look like I've got my head's floating on somebody else's neck. Anyway, anyway, right, let's get on with this. Let me put me on full screen. Ready, ready. Right. Oh, hang on. Yes, I've got there. that. I thought I'd, I thought I'd stop somewhere. Are we all there? Are we all logged on? Yeah, I'm logged on, ready to go now, I think. Um, yeah, so we've had, we had a week off, obviously, for, um, you know, the Queen dying and everything. So we weren't here last week. But it's um, strange because we were just looking at the dates, weren't we, for um, our next podcasts? Because obviously next weekend is Yarn yeah. Day. The weekend after that, I'm away in Cornwall, picking Grace up, then it's Bakewell. And then a fortnight after that, we're away for the weekend. We're away for the weekend. So we're probably going to be all over the place with podcasts. Yes. So um, what we're trying to say is you cannot bank on us being here at three o'clock on a Friday until November. I mean... We will. Hopefully, we're still going to try and do one a week if we can. It may be on a Thursday or a Saturday-ish. Next week, and we'll remind you as we go, next week it's going to be Thursday evening or Thursday at some point, probably tea yeah. time-ish. Um, the following week to be decided, and then the week after that, it might be Friday evening coming to you live from Bakewell. Yes, which it could possibly be. I think the internet, we'll have to just check what the internet's like, won't we? It will be internet dependent. Well, we know it's absolutely fine there. And we'll yeah. be in person. We'll be together unless you go upstairs and I go downstairs. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so we will keep you updated. We'll let you know. But this is your last Friday, 3 p.m. for a, quite a while. I think that will be quite, we're just sitting next to each other again. Yeah. It would be really weird, wouldn't it? Yeah. You because would have to press the button to join. No. <laughs> I, may, well, I think we maybe just need to do it in the kitchen and in the other room just so that we don't confuse ourselves. I'll sit at the dining room table. So watch this space and we'll let you know how it goes. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, this time next week, we will be... Well, I was going to say in the middle of setup, we won't. We'll have just started setup at Yarndale. Yeah, because what time is it? it is it two o'clock? Yeah. I keep saying this. It does seem later. I always thought it was twelve o'clock setup. I know you do, but it wasn't. Because we always will go. We always go and have our lunch in the cafe. Your dad would off, oh, normally have pie and peas. I always thought it was like late breakfast we had. No. Anyway. In but, my mind, set ups at twelve o'clock, but it isn't. No. So, well, the van will be empty, and we'll be starting set up. So, and it's weird because although we always know how we sort of put things, it'll be completely different because this year we've got the wall of wool. Because yeah. normally we have two side setups, don't we? This yeah. year we've got one wall of wool. I mean, that's going to confuse us, isn't it? I mean, in theory, we've got less furniture but yeah. it's not worked like that we've really struggled to get things in so no come and see come and see how we cope we might do a little a little video if we remember but we might not exactly and um, while we're talking of Yarndale come and find us because we're on row C stand number 11 yes um, so come and find us and, you know, even if you're not coming to buy wool from us, just come and say hello. We'd love to chat to you all. Yes. Um, so, yeah, right. And while we're speaking of Yarndale, if you are coming to Yarndale, 
look out for the show special show yeah. exclusive not available anywhere else we've got a yarndale colorway yes so we're not showing you it we're being mean we're not showing you it we're not showing you because it's only available at the show yes so come on find us even if you don't want to buy it you come and have a look at it and it's the 10th year of yarn yarndale isn't it yes so it's their birthday um so i think they've got lots of different different things on haven't they they've got a lot of I don't know. Check their website out anyway. They've got lots of different yes. things going on for their 10th birthday. Um, yes. And I know they've been knitting um, like chains, haven't they? Woolly chains yes. this year. Yeah. They normally do different types of um, decorations. So that's what they're doing this yeah. year. Anyway. Yeah, they've been bunting and all sorts in the past. So I'm sure you've all missed us, not seen us for two weeks. Um, so, I mean, I've been kept fairly busy with knitting. I know we've been busy with orders and poor Dominic's been dying. I've been winding. Um, so, but I have got some knitting done. I have been sat doing a bit of knitting. What do you want to see first, Dominic? Have you got a finished object? I have got one, two, three finished objects. Let's see some of them then. Um, right, well, let's go with the jumper first. I was going to try, I was going to wear it, but what, I've blocked it. Well, not blocked it. I've like washed it and hung it. And the neck's gone really big. Can you see? Oh, yeah. So I think I'm going to have to cast a few stitches on and just do a few rows. I've done it the same as I did the other one, but it's gone really big, this one. I think it, it must just be the wool. I wonder if you can just somehow, because you can cro like, crochet slip stitch all the way around, can't you? Well, well you, did a jump, you, did, you did pick up stitches and knit a couple of rows. And on this one, I thought, oh, I can't be bothered to do that. So I just added it onto the pattern when I did it. Do you know what I mean? So I just, because all you did last time was picked up, like you picked up the stitches and then you just knit two rows. And I just thought, well, it's a waste of time. So I just added it to the pattern. But maybe that, it keeps the neck but shape no, back. I don't know. But it no, because I've measured it against my other one and it is a lot, lot bigger. Not just even that much, it's a lot, lot bigger. The whole jumper, do you know what I mean? The whole jumper's a lot bigger. Um, so it's finished. Really um, nice. Really nice. The colours look really nice together. Yeah, how much bigger it is. And I've, I haven't blocked it. I literally washed it and laid it flat because it just, it just feels a lot bigger. But I am really happy with it. So that's... Um, If it, who, who's the wool by? I mean, honestly. It's third volt yarn. Third volt yarn, yarn, and it's yarn from Mars. That, um, and it's the Backshaw jumper. And the blue is our blue in a purple world. Yes. And I didn't do the, um, like, there's like a moss, it's not a moss stitch, but the, a, a thicker braid at the bottom. So I just kept it simple and just cast it off. Um, and the same on the, on the arms but I really I'm really happy with it apart from the neck but it will easily be easily sold because I will just cast on look at it it's just huge yeah um so that is the jumper and I was really conscious because I could tell when I was knitting as it felt bigger I thought I don't I'm not going to put it on Mrs Woody Woodington because I think it would have just grown exponentially as they say oh look I can't even see what people are saying that is the Backshaw by Alicia Plummer. And just because we've knit quite a few Alicia Plummers this year and we've liked all of them, she's doing a um, knit along. Yes. And now I don't know if it's just started or it starts in September, but um, you can find her on Ravelry and it's any of her patterns because I was saying to Victoria on Wednesday night, I, I was going to join in that knit along, but I've had things added to my knitting list which is just, uh, rather than spread myself too thin because it has got a bit like that, yeah. I am being sensible. But she has got a really, it looks like a really nice, relaxed knit along. Um, yeah. So, yeah, Alicia Plummer, I'll put the details when I, the video goes up. Um, and there's loads, we were saying there's loads of make along at the minute. Yeah. Um, but because we both like her, I thought I'd just mention you've shown her jumper but yeah you're right Lucy um 
I don't know. I don't, it just seems to have, it didn't, it was bigger even when I was knitting it because that's when I was conscious of it. I thought, this does seem a lot bigger than my other one. Same needles, the tension looks the same, you know, when you look on the, when I look at yeah. the other jumper. It's just, it's just grown more. So I have no idea. Yeah. Very but, you know, there you go. What, um, what did you do the other one in? Um, our midnight. So, I, again, I used one of ours and one of a um, Beaches and Birds song. But the same base, both Superwash Merino and Nylon, as this is. Yeah. So, the same yardage. I think so. I can't remember because I haven't got um, Third Volt Yarns label right. i'm certain it was the same i'm certain it was the same but it could still be dk it still could be the same base but if the yardage is different that's yeah you but, don't that, and that's why when people say about gauge and things for a yarn it's nothing to do with the yarn it's how you knit it yeah yeah so i don't know i don't know whether i've been more relaxed knitting it who knows but it fits nice do you know what i mean yeah. But it's just it's got it's got more of a, a drape on it. Do you know what I mean? But I'll yeah. rectify the neck. It's not a big problem. Yeah. You know, I can easily pick stitches up or. And we all know knit with different balls, and yeah. they all break differently, don't they? Exactly. So at least it's off the needles now. I mean, it's yeah. been it's been the um, lady whistle down. Although to be fair, I haven't touched the lady whistle down jumper. I've still got the amount I've knit on it. Right. It didn't take that much wool. And you're going to ask me how much it weighed, but I haven't weighed it. I do know of the blue that I used about um, 80 grams of the blue. So, because I didn't use a full whole yeah. 100 grams, because I only had 100 grams. Um, but I have no idea how much it's weighed. I will weigh it. Because well, of I was using balls that I'd already wound up ready to, to use, and they're all in big masses. So, anyway. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. What have you got, Dominique? I've got a proper, proper finished, blocked, done. So I finished it. it. was off the needles last time, but it is now oh, blocked. Beautiful. And ready to wear. So, and I did weigh it because I wondered how much. It's taken 467 grams. And I think I knit the biggest size, but I've knit it longer in the body and the sleeves longer because I've got long arms and I'm tall. So um, I could yeah. go wait, mate, wait if you want me to wait. Do you want me to go and wait? No, it doesn't matter. If anyone wants Marie to wait, if they need the information, you'll just have to message us. Um, yeah, so fine off the needles, fully blocked, dried, and it fits beautifully. So it just needs to cool down and then I can start wearing it because it is just so warm, really warm. Yeah. Um, but I did say I'd have it ready to wear Yarndale and it is ready. So if nothing else, Kath and Marion can see it, even if I don't get to wear it. Yes. So that's the After the Rain by Wensleydale Longwall Sheep Shop. There's kits in the shop, but I've just gone for this slate and whatever the red was called. I can't remember what the red was called. I'll find it. I can't. Because I just had seen Helen, the designer, had done it in these colours. So they were the colours I thought I want to do that. But in the kits, um, it's a brown with like a undyed, I think. I mean, it still looks nice, but they're just not oh, my blue. Is it not like a steely blue? No, it is brown. It's like a fawny oh, colour. I can't remember. But anyway, so that is the After the Rain, finished, blocked, ends woven in, ready to wear. Whilst we're talking about when still long, well, did you see the new colours that Kath had put on um, her website yesterday? She did a picture of them. They were beautiful, like really autumnal. Um, an undyed Wensleydale um, wool. And then um, it was like an orangey colour and a mustard. They were really nice colours. So she's obviously got a few new colours um, winging to Yarndale. So, yeah, um, yeah some nice colours there. Yeah. Would you like to see... That looks a very big mug of tea, is it? I know. Well, I was desperate. I've 
literally came in dining at about 20 to 3 and I was gasping for a drink, so I had to go for my big mug. Yes, yeah, so let's see another finished object. Right. Well, here is the social bubble. Oh, yes. Finished along with its little pom poms that I've just done in the um, winter rainbow. I'm really yeah. happy with it. Although, we, you know, we, I did mourn quite a bit about doing the, the cast off of the bubbles. Yeah, but it was worth it. It was worth it. It was worth it. Um, so there we go. I mean, I know I say this, I don't really like a triangular shawl, so I also have to wear it a bit like that. because I, I get a bit annoyed by how far the bit comes down, do you know what I mean? But, but you, could, you could wear it as a shawl. Yeah, could wear it as a shawl. I could wear it any old way, couldn't I? Yes. Um, but yeah, so I put pom-poms up, but I'm really, I really like it. Really nice. Yeah, it was a really um, straightforward, there was two versions of it. So you could either do just garter stitch or stocking stitch, whichever you wanted. And then it gave you the pattern for both and then the bubbles on it as well. Um, I think for me, if I did it again, I would do crochet bubbles, but that's just me because I was just getting bored going backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. Um, but it's, yeah, it was a, it was a, an easy knit, do you know what I mean? Because you just yes. didn't really have to think about it. Even the bubbles, it, you know, once you knew how far apart they were, you could just yes. do it. But yeah, it's yes. quite, I'm really, I'm really pleased with it. Um, it looks very Halloweeny. Was it a, was it a pattern for a hundred and minis or not? Uh, uh, yes, it's a hundred and a mini. Yes, I know you didn't use a mini, but the, the pattern was a hundred and yes. a mini. Yeah. I think that's a really nice size for 120 grams. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's quite a big. Yeah. Quite a big shawl. Yeah, but, really uh, nice. Yep, yeah, so that's... That's... That, that is the Social Bobble Shawl, and it is by a Brixton Pearl Design. Yes. Um, but it worked out, because I've seen lots of different ones done sort of the other way around, so with the multicolour and then the solid. Oh yes, but well, yeah, I like that. I like it like that. Yeah. I think the I think the winter rainbow looks nice because it's different colours all the way across. I wasn't sure when I started doing it because, um, like there, you can see some of the bobbles don't necessarily stand out. But once I'd finished it all, they do stand out. Do you know what I mean? I think when I was knitting it, I just thought, oh, am I going to lose the effect of the bobbles? No, won't. And then of course, it took me ages to make me little pom poms because you, I just get a bit, you know. I still look at them and think they're not very spherical. But they started off about like that big and I just kept snip, 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 snipping. Thank you, Linda. The that red is yes. pomegranate. It's hot, yes. it is. It's... Right. Thank you. Over to you. Now what have you got? I've got another finished object. <laughs> so I can show this now because Caroline's got hers. But this is the Only Fools and Horses colourway knit up into a pair of socks. That looks fantastic. I really, really like this colourway. So I just did a simple vanilla sock uh, toe up with just a little two by two um, no. cable. You see, you see, it looks more pink there, but it isn't, is it? It's it's. No, it is scarlet. It's scarlet, but it looks quite pink on that light. Does it? No. That looks better. Yeah, that's a bit better. Yes. It look, When you hold it back, it looks very pink. Yeah, no, it is definitely red. And so we were talking in code last time because we knew not everyone had got it. But um, to me, the most iconic Only Falls and Horses was Batman and Robin. So this was kind of Batman and Robin's costumes. Yeah. The a little yellow in it but that's got to be a nod to the car as well so um so i had a 50 gram with the mini and i used nearly all of it but i got i mean they just don't look long now but when i was knitting these the leg was longer than the foot and i thought well this is going to be up to my mid calf so i stopped with about three grams left yeah and i Still got half the mini left so that is a decent pair of socks out of a 50 gram sock yeah. set um but yeah 
I, ju I really liked it. So I cast it on fairly quickly um, and got these knitted. And then I've kept doing German short row heels, but I've just gone back to a heel flap and gusset just for something different. Yeah. A slip stitch heel out of the Socks from the Toe Up by Wendy D. Johnson book, because that's my go-to book. So really <laughs> simple. But yeah, that was only Fools and Horses. Um, I really like it. I'm really pleased. I know Lisa showed us on Wednesday. She's already got one of her yeah. socks fit as yeah. well. So, um, yeah, if you've had it and you've cast something on, share it with us because it's always nice to see what people knit. So and, and don't forget those who haven't ordered it. The um, the next one to come out is Golden Girls. So um, and that's minis this time. We're doing five minis for that. Yes. So yeah. Um, that's the Golden Girls. Um, so while we're on socks, I got my dad's socks finished. Oh, yes. So um, that's the pair finished. I mean, I didn't, you know, I didn't match them. Come on, life's too short, isn't it? What well, I, I know it was a four ply that held double. What was it? Was it a Regia? No, it was Fables. Oh, that's right. Yes. Table sock yarn. I don't know what colour it was because it was a num it was a numbered colour. Um, but yeah, the one. So they they're quite thick. They're quite woolly. You can see that they're really sort of fibrous, can't you? So all I've got to do now is just sew in on the heels the um, sock yarn thread I got. I can't yes. remember where I got it from. I was trying to remember. I couldn't remember. I mean, it was weeks ago now. Um, but if you search for sock thread yarn that's how i found it um and it is because what because they, they said don't just use a, a, a normal sewing thread or a nylon one even don't just use nylon use one that's the same composition so it's like 75 percent wool and 25 percent nylon oh right quite thick you know what i mean it's quite coarse it might right. have to be a bit more nylon in, i might be lying it might be a bit more high in nylon but it is a wool and nylon um thread right quite tough you can see it's really really yeah. tough so I'm just yeah. going to sort of pick those stitches up and just put a, put a bit in there. Yes. But they feel yeah. tougher already, do you know what I mean? There's not much giving them, do you know what I mean? Right, yeah. A little bit when I blocked them, just because I like them to look a bit neat, um, but there's not a huge amount of giving them. So hopefully they're quite dense. They should, um, they should be fine. So now they're finished, they can go in the post to him excellent um so yeah did you did you use all 100 grams no no i would i have no idea how much i've got left <laughs> enough to probably knit the opposite way around do you know what i mean so knit, I... um because at the end i wasn't sure if i was going to have enough um so what i did i i did a contrast in tour so i used a uh, Midnight four ply with a very four ply that I had. Right. Just need to try them. And to be fair, you can't really tell, can you? That there are no, no, you can't. So it, I only did it because um, I wasn't sure. So when I got to there, I thought, do you know what? I'm, I weighed the sock, and I think the sock was um, I weighed the wool I had left. Sorry, and it, I think I had fifty six grams left before I started the next sock. So. I thought, well, it's used quite a good chunk of it, so I'd better not go any further. Um, right. And I got, I say, I had plenty. I could, probably could have done the toes out of it. So that was that. That's Excellent. That, that's all socks. And there was no pattern. That was just me casting on. Um, I think for my dad, I do fifty-two stitches on three seven five needles. A double knit on double knit, yeah. Like I say, I wanted them quite tight. Yes. Yeah. So that's that. Have you got anything else? Do you want I've, to... not, I've not got other, any more finished objects. Did you say right. you've got another finished object? Um, I've got... No, I haven't got another finished object. That was me three. Right. I've other stuff that I'm on with. Right, go on then. Let's see it. Um, well, while, we, while we're talking socks, shall we talk about Strictly Sock Along? Yes. Um. So, as you know, we were um, last, you know, you've done it a couple of years, haven't you, the Strictly Sock Along? Yes. You explain who does it then. 
Um, so Ali from Little Drops of Wonderful, I think she said this is her sixth year of running the Strictly Sock Along. Knitting a pair of socks while watching Strictly, basically. Um, but she's got, you can cheat as much as you like. Um, and she's got lots of different categories. Now she's doing a paired back version. She used to do it with somebody else and she's not mentioned it. So I think she might be doing it by herself this year. But she runs it on Ravelry and Instagram. Um, and it is knitting socks while watching Strictly, thinking about Strictly, watching a programme with an oh, okay. ex or crochet, um, making a pair of socks. Yeah. Um, yeah, reading a book by... I can't think of now a celebrity that's been on that might have written a book. Read, reading Colin Jackson's autobiography while knitting socks. Whatever you can think of tenuously to link it to Strictly. Um, so, yeah. If you go, if you go on, on Instagram as well, she tells you there's loads of different hashtags to use as well. Yes. But there's prizes for lots of different things, isn't there? Like the most tenuous link and there's... Yes. You can tag, tag it with a certain tag. Uh, for you, if you're doing it really tenuous, you know, like you're driving along somewhere and you go past a, a street that you know somebody lives at. Um, that and she does, she does her Strictly vlogs as well. So she did one the week before last, I think. So if you find her on YouTube, I'll link it yes. where she talks about it. And she will do a Strictly vlog every week through Strictly. So it obviously should have started tomorrow night, but they've pushed it back. So it's going to start next Friday. Yes. Uh, and so, yeah. yeah, well, yeah, it starts next Friday, and then Saturdays is the what it would have been anyway. So, um, so this year, those of you that followed us last year, you know, we had our fabulous colorway. This year, we've gone glitter ball, we have gone glitter ball, and um, Ali is knitting with hers, isn't she? Has she started knitting with it? No, Not it's the thing. other thing that started knitting with it. Yeah. But Ali showed it on her web, on her um, social media, didn't she? So yes. This is the glitter ball. So that's it on four ply sparkle. You can't really see the glitter. And this is it on double knit sparkle. So it's available on all our bases and in 50 grams. Not you, yak. Not yak. Um, but you can sort of see the double knit always comes out slightly brighter, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, but they, um, yeah, so it's been really popular so far already. Um, I can't wait to start casting mine on, um, which will be Yarndale weekend, won't it? Yes, yes, it will. Yeah, next weekend. So I, might have to, I might have to cheat and cast them on before by watching um, a rerun of something. Now, I don't think we're going to get a chance to cast ours on before Yarndale. I am. We haven't got enough. If I have enough, I'll be casting it on. Right, there. So that is um, Glitter Ball. So it's not only available on Sparkle, like I say, I've shown the two Sparkle just because it's got the glitter. If you don't like Sparkle, you can have it on normal sock. Yes. 50 grams, 50 grams yes. Sparkle and 50 grams normal. Yes. Um, and there are 10 minutes coming with us to Yarndale, but you've got to yes. be there at Yarndale for that. Yes. Um, yeah, Ali showed it and then we released it. We weren't really prepared. And I think I've, I spent every day last week after work dying like pans at a time, not just one or two, pans at a time. Um, we just can't keep up with it. So, to be fair, we were going to launch it on our podcast last Friday, weren't we? But yes, obviously, we in the circumstances, yes. we didn't. So, um, we then just put a quick post out when we realised that Ali had, had shown it because we were we didn't know when she was going to show it. So like yeah. Dominic says, we got a little bit a little bit caught out, which was nice, which was lovely, but it was a bit frantic, wasn't it? That yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. So, so, so that is. But you can knit with whatever you like. Take part yeah. whatever you like. That is just our strictly offering for this year. But yeah. go stash diving. Yeah. Use whatever you've got. Um, it's just it's just a nice thing to take part in. So um, it certainly is. And 
I think Caroline won a prize last year. You know, there are prizes to be won as well. So. Lots of prizes to be won. Yes. Yeah. Um, what else have you got then? Well, while we're talking about socks, I've just got... I mean, not that I've done loads on this, but I am just about... Well, I got to it on Wednesday night, about 10 minutes before we finished knitting, so I'll put it down. Um, oh, knit a hair into it. I've just got to the heel of my socks that I'm using up from my, excuse me, oh, yeah, in the jumper. Summer sorrel, yes. So that is the pattern it should have been, but for the other way. Fit, no, other way, other way, there, that's it. But um, when I did the only fools and horses, I thought, well, rather than do two by two I'll do a one by one yeah. so it's the same pattern just over fewer stitches just to add a bit of detail rather than just knitting and knitting so um I mean I'm not going to get anywhere near using all of that but I'm going to keep going with that till I've turned the heel and just started to go up the leg and then um I'll get a uh, fizz whiz. I've got uh, about six grams of fizz whiz, I think yeah, so I've used it all. Nice. So I just keep picking it up and putting it down. I've not, I don't know why I've, well, I was about to say, I don't know why I've not really knit. I do know why I've not done any knitting. It's because I've been dying or working. But they're easy to do. I don't have to think about them much. You only have to do the cable once every four rows. That's what I've well, At least you haven't been sent down to London because that would have been even worse, wouldn't it? What would no. you have done then? I know. Well, that's why on Thursday and Friday I did, I mean, I just was dying pan loads of it, yeah. just in case. But, um, yeah, we've, like we've said before, we think you've got cameras on us because I must have done 12. Oh, funny. And then two people will order the thing I only did one of, and you're like, dear, oh, dear. Well, you died a lord on a certain base, hadn't you, for one day, yeah. and then they wanted, it was like all on a different base. It was quite amusing, because I was obviously having to like send text messages and go, yes, can we have another one on such and such? And I thought, oh, poor Dominic. I knew you were busy with work, and I knew and I knew you didn't know where you were going to be. I didn't. I knew you didn't, he had no idea what was happening, did you not, you know? And um, <laughs> yeah, it was a bit, it was, it was, it was fun. So then, of course, I'm collecting all this, and then I had like, millions of skeins of yarn I was like oh lordy lord and then as I said trying to get sorted for Yarndale and it's, we, been, it's been we forgot it was really nice because we've had our afternoon tea we had our yes. uh, on Monday um oh you all went bonkers there as well so I'm, we've said about three times that's all the time for Yarndale's done and then we've done something else oh oh you thought it was brilliant but yeah. People were getting ready for the um, Stephen West knit along, yeah. weren't they? So, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, it has just been, it has been a little bit bonkers. Yeah. But, Which has been nice, though, but, yeah, it has been slightly bonkers. So, uh, speaking of afternoon tea. Yes, a good link. I like a good link. Yeah. Afternoon tea. You'd be pleased to know, after we were there on Monday, Monday. Um, we um, have booked all the afternoon teas for 2023. Yes. So we know where we are this year. We know what's been done. The, all of them are there. There won't be any extras added on. They are the knitting letters for 2023. They're all on the website now, um, available to, to book in advance. Again, limited spaces. Um, we try and keep it at around about 20. So, yeah. um, so that's what the, the spaces are. Um, so if you want to book them, they are there, but they have been disappearing, especially the last few because like the Christmas one's booked out. This set, the one we've just had was fully booked out. Yes. Um, and we did have people asking to add on and we, we can't, you know what I mean? We're sort of stuck to a number that's comfortable for everybody, really. But don't yeah. we all the all the dates? So what we've tried to do, we have tried to do a mix of days, yes. evenings and weekends. Yes. And if you all keep asking, why do we keep going for Mondays and Thursdays? It's because they're my days off. Yes. So... We can't do a Friday could we podcast and I get either a Monday or a Thursday off. So that's why the Mondays and Thursdays. So we did mess it up this year, didn't we? And we went for a 
a Tuesday one, didn't we? Well, it was a Tuesday evening. Yeah, we completely just, because it, it was the only time we could fit it in, to be fair. So that's why, like Dominique says, they're either weekends or Mondays and Thursdays. Off you go. And, so, December, and December's this year, so this is my working day as well. But you did choose that. No, we, I didn't. We did, because I said, because it was neat link at uh, the Christmas market, didn't I? And, and I said, what do you want to do that day? And you just, you made it, you gave me a good reason why you said something. And then you said, yeah, that'll be fine. I think I capitulated and went, okay. You didn't, you specifically gave me a reason why you could do it. Well, it, it makes no odds, but it's, we've got them all. So I think nearly all of them I'm off this time next right. year. So you've got Monday, the 30th of January, Thursday, the 23rd, of February. And these are all afternoon ones, aren't they? One to these are afternoon ones. Sunday, the 2nd of April, the week before Easter. Yep. May is Thursday, the 25th, and that's an evening one. So that's five till nine. Yeah. And then Sunday, the 20th of August. Monday, the 23rd of October, and Sunday, the 10th of December. Yes. Uh, throughout the year. So all the dates are on the website. They're up there now. Yeah. Um, I know it's a year in advance, but we need to get them on. Yeah. So um, and we need to get the dates booked, don't we, so that we could have yeah. that choice of the days yeah. we, we wanted. Um, so... So that's 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 all. Yeah. That's all of the afternoon tea. So yeah, we've got one more this year. Yes, and the Christmas retreat, um, and then again for the retreats next year. March is already fully booked, and so is the July. June, June July, um, and um, obviously we haven't rebooked. Well, we've rebooked the Christmas one, but we haven't released it yet because we wait yes. until we finished each retreat. Yes. Um, so all our dates are in for Hemswell next year. So we're all busy. Yes, they are. And yeah. Just a reminder as well, while we're at Hemswell, they're having a Macmillan coffee morning, aren't they? On yeah. the September the 30th. Yes. Um, I can't remember the times. Check their times out on their, um, on Hemswell Courts, um, Facebook and Instagram. But they're running a Macmillan coffee um, day morning cakes and we all know you know the cakes and things are very very good um i would have gone but I'm, a, I'm i'm not here so i'm not able to go um but anybody local and wants cake fix from hemswell uh, dominic's obviously looking there I, i'm just trying to find hemswell court because they've only just put just to get the it's on their instagram isn't it yeah hmm there and um they're having a raffle and um we've from given... 12 uh, from 10 a.m to midday friday the 30th of september and we've given them some wool it'll be a show kit for them to raffle off as well yes so, um... yeah yes 10 till midday on yeah. friday the 30th yeah. i knew it was on there somewhere so um yeah uh that's something else i can tick off my tick off the list Pick off my list of things to do. What other knitting have you got? Um, well, I finally cut, um, you know, the sock tube I got when we went to Needles and Nibbles from Hayley? Yeah. Um, yeah. I've got the 50 gram sock tube. So this just goes to show what you can get out of the smaller sock tubes. Yeah. So this is the 50 gram sock tube. So I split it in half and I just did my little cuff and I've done the toe. And then I'm just on the heel now on that one. Um, is that I'm, pale scarlet? Pale scarlet on sparkle that I had in my stash. I mean, look at the state of that. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm really liking these. I might need to have. Um, I might need to have a look at Haley's other fifty gram ones because they they're really good. Yeah, out of a, out of a big one, you, I'd get two pairs of socks easy. Yes. Um, yeah. And yes, it is familiar because I did buy it once before and Hayley quite rightly said, Marie, you bought this once, but I knitted a pair of socks for Grace and gave them to her and I liked it so much I want my own. Was it Fiesta? Yes, it was Fiesta. Fiesta. 
Um, so I think I might have to purchase one of those when I get to um, Yarndale. I have got a little bit of a list of what I want at Yarndale. Well, you've um, done me. I've not got anything. Yeah. I, well, I know I want one of those. And I know I want some striping yarn from Giddy Yarn. Did you see what happened to a car? Yes. I mean, that could have been us. I mean, we were so close to yours setting on fire, weren't we? we were so, I mean, yours was still a complete write-off, which yes. just didn't go as far as catching fire. And like she said, thank goodness it was coming back from yeah. setup. Yeah. I mean, it's horrific. We know what it's like. It's blooming awful, isn't it? You know, your car had literally melted. I think it wouldn't have been far before it had burst into flames. All I kept thinking is, because we were on that hill, weren't we? I was thinking... Yeah. Or if we unhook the, we can unhook the trailer. Just try and save the trailer. <laughs> because it was, it's got everything. Because we were coming back, yeah. having packed up. But um, Helen's not there. Is she not at Yarndale? Oh, I thought she was doing Yarndale. Oh, well, I'll just have to look on the website then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought she was doing Yarndale this year. No, we looked on Monday, and she's definitely not. Mm. Unless someone's going to correct me, but I'm sure we looked on Monday and she's definitely not doing it. No, she's up at Edinburgh at the minute, isn't she? Is it Edinburgh, Glasgow, one of the Scottish ones? She's she? just, she did Perth last week. She's doing another one this week. Is she's, it? Yeah, yeah, there's another one on. Yeah. And apart from that, I don't know what else I've got that I want from Yarndale, but there was something else. I need some soap off calf. Oh, right. My soap is literally down to the last bit of sliver. I use yes. it in the shower. It's down to the last bit of sliver. I sent her a photograph the other day. She must have thought I was a lunatic thinking. I said to her, do you think I'll manage to get to Yarndale before I have to get some more? So um, that'll be my first purchase, some soap. Yes. So now, I've not got a list. That's not to so say I'm not going to get anything, but I'm not. there's nothing I can think of that I need. Yeah. So... Which is sometimes nice because you can just sit right, sit yeah. and take your fancy, but um, and it's nice yeah. as well looking at the stalls around you, isn't it? I because you, yeah. you know you go and have a look at the ones around you, and you always see something and think, oh, yes, yeah. Um, what else? What I've got? Yeah. A... Sarah said she's doing Glasgow. Yeah, Glasgow. I thought it was. Yeah. Scott... I said Edinburgh to start off, and then I realised it wasn't because Edinburgh's been on already. So yeah, it's it is Glasgow. Yeah. yeah. I've got a cast on. Oh, let's see your cast on. I mean, I'm mad casting this on because we know I'm doing the Stephen West. But I've got that jumper cast off and I just thought I'm going to cast it on and see if I can get it done for Christmas. Laugh, she said. Ha, ha, ha. No, I haven't said which Christmas. So it is the Pagan oh. Sky. Yes. Um, the Pagan Sky by Zanetta Mitz. Um, there you can see it's sort of the length of it. The well, this, has been, this has been in your queue for ages, hasn't yeah. it? You've always said you want to do that. The stripes on it are off my printer, not in the jumper. Um, and I'm going red and white. Yeah. I've had this yarn over a year. Yeah. Um, and it's Lima Drops and it's ever so soft. Um, it's wool alpaca. I think I got it in the sale and it was really good. I think I paid all together for all the wool, £24. And I got 10 balls of red and three balls of the cream. Oh, well, that answers my question, which is which way around you're going to do it. So the yeah. jumper's going to be red. Yes. Yeah. It's very Christmassy, so it'll look a bit like, um, like Christmas snowflakes. So I have cast on, and I mean, I literally have just cast on. Um, yeah. I haven't done any because we've had knitting natters and there is no way I was going to sit and do that. Yeah. Knitting natters. Not until at least I've got a bit into it. Yes. Um, I mean, the good thing is it's just a long chart, do you know what I mean? So every row is different. So it's not as if you're repeating that, you're repeating it round, but you're not. Yes. Um, yeah. So, yeah. And it's... Um, is it double knit? Yeah, it's double knit. And it's um, got all the different um, Latvian signs. So it's got the God, uh, Son of God, the God, deities, the Sun, the Dawn, um, and the Cross. So it's all Latvian. It's got some really nice patterns, actually. I nearly changed my mind and looked at a different one. 
I am doing the neck slightly different because can you see it's quite a high cowl neck. Oh yes. So I'm not yeah. doing the cowl neck, I'm just doing a short, little short neck. Um so I've only you can see there I've only done a couple of rows of ribbon. Yeah. Um but it's so soft this wool. To say it's um, wool and alpaca, really soft. I I think I've used drop slimmer, but I can't think what I've used it for. I really like drops because it's inexpensive and for yeah. jumps and things, it is nice. Did I do, oh, I think I maybe did my Margot jumper in drop slimmer because mm. that was the bonnet. Yeah. Thank you, Jane. Yours is sat in the cupboard, but yeah, don't panic. Yours is safe. Yours is safe. Um, so that, yeah, I thought I'll cast it on and just see how I go because at the minute... I've got these socks on the go. Obviously, I'm going to have my glitter ball socks. Stephen West doesn't start till the um, second week in October. Well, sixth or something of October. Right. Um, Baseball so week then, isn't it? Yeah, so I thought I can get on with um, I can get on with that a little bit. Yeah. Um, when, I have no idea, but, you know. Yeah. At some point. Yeah. Have you got anything else? Well, you need a pair of socks, and I'm going to be the same, I think. You need a pair of socks for Yarndale. Yeah. We very rarely get time to knit, more so on a Sunday, knit on the stand. But it needs to be a small project, doesn't yeah. it, to be working on. So I do need to cast on a pair of socks. Yes. So I've got something to be... I mean, I say I don't think I've ever knit, but it's nice to have something just in yeah. case. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, where's it gone? It's fallen off. I've just cast on, not done anything. I've just cast on a green hat for Caroline. But I've literally just cast it on. And I thought, well, I'm not going to make a massive hat because it'll be quicker. I'll do the small. But I didn't read the pattern properly and the small was for a baby. So at the minute, I'm just doing a, a small baby hat and then I'll cast on and do a proper adult hat for Caroline, but um, it's just a quick, easy pick yeah. it up and go round and round. So I don't need to think about that. Um, and then oh, I've just left something, hang on. I was trying to, I was trying to think what, to, oh, I know what I was gonna say. Um, the new book by Richard Osmond came out yesterday. Um, what the heck's it called? The bullet mist or something, something about bullet and something about mist. I mean, honestly, um, let me have a look on me. So there the I was. Bullet. The, the, bullet bullet the bullet that missed, I think. So there I was already with me audible, ready to listen to it. It's not Leslie Manville. Um, it is the bullet that missed. It, it's weird because you got so used to hearing it because I've listened to the audible on both of them. And read both of the books, but then listened to them again. I thought this time I'm just going to get the audible. And it's not Leslie Manville, and it's really thrown me <laughs> because I'm like, I'm having to really think who's that voice? Who's that voice? Um, there's been, I'm enjoying it so far, but it is really weird. It is really strange not listening to Leslie Manville putting those voices. Um, I feel I feel sorry because there's a lot of like when you know when you read all the reviews and things on Audible and a lot of people are saying how can you do this how can you do this how can oh my god it's not the same um, you know it's it's a book you've still got to get your imagination into it haven't you so I'm still enjoying it but it really was you know when you like switch something on it's like you like a comfort thing yes and it was like oh what's going on here but um, yeah I'm enjoying it so it's it's quite good so far. I've um, just looked, I'm now 22nd in the queue for the library. All right. Um, I've finished all of my um, yarn retreat and crochet murder mystery books. And I emailed the library maybe a fortnight ago. I need to chase it up because I'd forgotten um, to ask them to purchase some books and I've not had anything back from them. So I need to, I need to check. But I've finished the last one last night so I'm a bit now I don't know what to pick up yeah so I might have to just go to the library tomorrow morning one and ask them about um ordering the books but two just to get a book because yes. 
I've ha I've just ha got back into reading. So, um, and the Yarned and Dangerous and the Sadie Hartwell, was it? The ones that Caroline said, none of them are at the library. Right. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I've finished the last one that I've got um, last night. So... Yes, Liz, um, it was a bit of a shock, I've got to say, because I literally, I was just ready to hear her voice come in, and especially of Joyce, do you know what I mean? Um, and I, you know when you like press the button and I thought, oh, is this like a different introduction? And then it, it was, I thought, no, this is the blooming story. And then I looked at it and it says different, you know, different, different um, narrator. Yeah. But yeah, it is weird, isn't it? How you get so used to listening to one person doing character voices. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it is weird to start off with, Linda. So if you've got the audible, um, it is Angela, it's strange. Angela's number three. Well done, Angela. Well done. I'll get there. Yes, it, you'll get there. I mean, I've only just read The Man Who Died Twice, and that's been out a year. So I, I don't need to be have to read it immediately, but it'll I'll come, I'll get it. Um yeah, so, this is this is what I've I've had that in my queue for oh nice oh uh, years I think that's a um, very Dominique cardigan it a uh, really really nice pattern is there a different schematic of it picture of the shape uh, there there is on Ravelry I mean that is this is the pattern. Okay. So it's a free pattern. Um, so it's not that I need to hide it, but it is. What's it called? I'll see if there's any other pictures. It's the Caramel by Isabel Kramer. There is loads of, there are loads of pictures because there's so many people done it. It's almost like um, you just like put a, some people have put buttons because it, um, the way it fold, closes. Uh, I mean, it's not quite the, um, for goodness sake, whatever the middle challenge is in Bake Off, where you've just got make the cake. It's not okay. quite that. But it's but even up that. It's, if you've knit garments before, it's absolutely fine. Oh, I see. So that's, that's like a different picture. So you can either wear it like that across. Yes. The so yes. That's really nice. But the pattern is that and that. So it's not even a page and a half for a cardigan, but it's absolutely, it is absolutely fine. So I cast this on. I mean, this is going to get put to one side now because I've got something else I need to do. But, I mean, I've gone the, well, I wouldn't really pick them for me, but I'm liking them. And this... I can blame completely on Sue because we were trying to pick some colours for Sue yeah. and then you put these two together and I thought, well, I think I quite like them. They look so brilliant. I've just... Uh, and what colours have you got? You've got Midnight. I've got Midnight and Pale Navy. I've mm -hmm. put together. So it's a double knit... Um, like a... Raglan type sleeve. So, I mean, it is fairly simple. Yes. Um, but yeah, I've had that in my queue for such a long time. And I think because I'd just finished my After the Rain and I'd just got socks on the go, I thought, well, now's the time to do it. Yeah, so, perfect. That's going to look really nice. When we, when we get there, I just... I really How many like, stitches do you get to? I really like the increases. Oh, yeah. That's the wrong side, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, nice. I just... Everything about it's really nice. Like, even the inside of it is nice. So, um, I've got my Dallas. You can't see it very well what it was. It looked like a bucket. It's a little hat. A little... Oh. Well, it is a hat. It just doesn't want to... Yeah, it's a little cowboy hat. 
There you go. A little cowboy hat. Um, I thought oh, I'm going to put all my sock club things on there, but I was sat down at the time and that was the only one I had to hand and I've not swapped them over. Um, How many stitches are you on now then? I have no idea, but I have to go up to um, 85, 170, 310, 415, 425 before I split for the sleeves. Right. So I'm going to go up to 185. 162 300 stitches for the body yeah because it's when you open it it's really quite wide yeah um it looks really it, that's i'm being intrigued it looks lovely that so yeah i am the, they're increasing and they're all getting scrunched up but you know i'm quite a way off splitting for the sleeves yet yeah. it just says Continue increasing on every right side row, changing colours until you've got however many stitches. Then you put your um, sleeves on hold and then knit the rest of the body. I mean, what more do you need from a pattern? But, yeah. Nice. So it is the Caramel by Isabel Kramer. Um, yeah, Mum's saying don't forget mine because that's why I want to put it to one side because Mum went shopping, saw a tank top, asked me if I'd find a pattern for her, not that she'd taken a picture of it, and then eventually said, well, I think it'd be easier if you knit it. So I looked to knit a tank top. So... What colour are you knitting it in? Um, a light grey, I think. Right. It, it's come, but I've not opened it, the wool. Um, so... And it's kept on. She hasn't forgotten, she's doing it. It's cabled. Nice. So, I mean, a tank top shouldn't take too long. Hopefully. Um, Lisa's so, just like, go on, sorry. I, no, I just picked that up because I could do that in yeah. knit and natter. It's easy yeah. to do when we're yeah. chatting, but I have to say, I've never nice put, together. I've not put Midnight and Pearl Navy together, but I really like yeah, them. Nice. Midnight Midnight does look nice with the pale colours because Lisa did her jumper in Midnight and the pale scarlet. That looked nice. Yeah. Um, so talking of Lisa, thank you. You have reminded me. I do need some fluff more hair for my Stephen West pop shawl. I need to find some. I mean, I say this and then I'll go around there and I'll not find anything I like. But Haley has got nice fluff. Yeah, I need to go and have a look and I might even, I don't know, I might put something really outrageous in it, I don't know. Um, so I can see you knitting one of these. I can as well. But There you go, Sue. Challenge. There you go. Yeah. Very, it, yeah, very I'm nice. In the books that Angela said, have you tried the Emma Brightwell, Mrs. Jeffrey series, Victorian Cozy Crime? No, but you put me off when you said Victorian then, I'm afraid. We, tried, just, we tried, Angela, we tried. We I know. I don't like, I don't like period books. books. No, I don't really like period films, TV. I mean, Called the Midwife is about as period as I will get. Okay. I know lots of things I'm sure I would enjoy, but they're not my bag so thank you I, I think I, that was a polite no yeah I just don't like them well if you don't like them you're not going to read them are you there's no no, no um I've got nothing else Nick wise I don't think we've got I've got anything else that I was forced to remember to say or remind you to say is there anything uh, uh, there is something else isn't there Tomorrow, tomorrow, I, I knew, I knew when you, when you looked at me. Tomorrow, if you are local to the area or local to near Doncaster. South um, Yorkshire. Yeah, South Yorkshire. That's not even a South Yorkshire accent, so I don't know why I did it. That was, I don't know what it was. That was ridiculous. So It was a London accent for South Yorkshire. Um, so we are at the um, Woolen Den, which is one of the little shops in the Hive at the um, 
Yorkshire Wildlife Park. Yes. Um, so we're there tomorrow for the yarn yarn extravag yarn extravaganza. I can't remember. Yarn extravaganza. Yarn extravaganza. <laughs> It's, so we're there from um, 12 o'clock till four o'clock. Um, and Leanne, who runs it, um, she's starting to stock our wool as well, which is lovely. Yes. Um, so we're going along on the, tomorrow. And then she's got events on all week. Um, she had one on Monday, but obviously she's, ha she's canceled that one. But for the rest of the week, there's lots of different things on. So if you are local or it's not too bad a journey, um, you don't have to go in the Yorkshire Wildlife Park, but Free. It's free. It's the hub on the outside of the Yorkshire Park. There's Yorkshire Wildlife Park. There's loads of different shops there, little cafes, restaurants, loads of things. If you want to go in the um, wildlife park, you can. It's it, it is open. So I dropped the wool off on what day did I go? Wednesday, and I was there for quarter to ten. And I'm a member. Got membership last year, and I went for a lovely walk around. There was no, hardly anybody in. It was really nice. Um, and it was feeding time, which was always good. So the polar bears were being fed um, and the lions were being fed. So I had a really nice walk around, apart from it was absolutely freezing. I left here in a T-shirt and like me leggings and me walk and thinking, I'd better just chuck a sweatshirt in just in case it gets a bit, you know, if, it, if it's windy, because it was beautiful here. I got there, it was absolutely freezing. So luckily I put my sweatshirt on, but I could have still done with something else on. It was a bit... Cool, but um, so yes, the wool show's on, um, and we're there from twelve till four. Yes, yeah, um, yeah. It's the it's a week. The Altravaganza is a week where local wool shops do put yeah. different events on. I know Sue and Marjorie who are York way on. They've got, um, I think they're kind of almost doing a yarn a yarn shop crawl around. There's a map near them of all the yes. different places getting involved so yeah. um so yeah we will be there with a very limited amount of wool we're doing a little pop-up shop aren't we yes but as i say um leanne is starting to stock our wool so um yeah so that's really nice she's doing the kits yes. rather than balls of our yes. wool but yeah because it's the week before yarn day all and we've not got a chance to top up particularly we've not been able to take loads and loads of stuff so um well, it'll be, it'll be nice. nice yeah it'd be nice to see you if anybody gets a chance to pop over there if it's close to you yes and i mean if you've got your passport with you as well you can always just nip to robin hood airport and just nip on a plane somewhere sunny as well so you know, fly out somewhere yes fly out somewhere for a couple of no, days be nice that's it. now i've ticked that one off the list that's it i've not got anything else on there I can't think that there's anything else. Is there anything else, people, that we haven't mentioned, Do you think we should have mentioned? Obviously, just for those who do our regular Knit and Natter on Monday, I think I reminded everybody, well, we're obviously not running it on Monday. Um, and going back to the afternoon teas as well, we've had a couple of emails from people saying, are the afternoon teas, because we call them Knit and Natters, why can't you run a crochet one? You can come and do whatever you like. It's not, you can only come if you knit. You can bring any craft with you that's portable, to be fair. Um, do you know what I mean? That you can use. Yes. Sat down. I mean, if you needed to sit at a table, you would be able to, but you may be on your own. That's a problem because yes. people have their afternoon tea at the table and then we all um, sit in the um, drawing room, uh, the living room, for the um, on the sofas and on the comfortable chairs. So any portable craft that you want to do, you can bring along. It's not, you don't have to just come and knit. People knit they crochet, hand sew, um, um, felt um, needle crafting, anything. So it's not, yes, I know we call it knit and natter. Maybe we should change the name. Well, I know I did think of that when I was putting the new one, but I have put in the, in the brief, I have put woolly crafts, woolly, woolly something and crafts. So, yeah. you know, because what do you call it? Crat and, ch crat and shaft, <laughs> chat and craft. Uh, but then you've got to be careful because you somebody couldn't come along with a sewing machine, could they? You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Come on, people. What else? I suppose 
we um, we've always thought, well, we ran Knit and Natters, but you came and you could do whatever you want. Yeah. So people would people would understand that. I have but put in, the, in the in the blurb, yeah. I have put you know bring any woolly woolly um, woolly craft or other yes. things. So, um, yes, it's not just for people who knit. And let's be honest, sometimes we don't even get around to knitting, do we? Well, I didn't do any on Monday. I think I did I, about two stitches. That was it in Gable. Oh, that's a, that's a lie, actually, because I did two rows for Hazel. Um, but yeah, I took mine and didn't didn't even get it out. Yeah, craft and chat. I think is the only. Yeah. I just hate though for somebody to come along with like loads of equipment with something that isn't. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I, nobody would do that, would they? I think so. Yeah. But yeah, it is. It's it's open to anybody. Yes, yes. Maybe I maybe I could just change it to craft and chat. Yeah, craft and chat. Yarny, yarny, yarning. But then it's just yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <sighs> I suppose people are going to find us through our social media, the yeah, website. Exactly. Or... And, it, and I keep putting on there whenever we put it, you know, you don't have to just come and knit. So yeah. we'll just leave it at that. We'll just leave yeah. it. Pete, that's how people have found us through yeah. our website. So they know it's something yeah. to do with all the things. But oh. um, yeah. But well, yeah, I think that's it. So we'll let you know, but it's going to be. Thursday tea time-ish next week, isn't it? Yes. I said that with great conviction, didn't I? Well, it's going to be Thursday at some point. But it but is, it's not going to be Friday. No. It's not going to be Saturday and it's not going to be Sunday. So it'll have to be Thursday at some point. Yes. Yeah. We'll let you know. We'll put a post out on Thursday to tell you. Thursday well, evening-ish. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Before... Eight o'clock. Definitely before eight o'clock. Woolly Witterings. Claire, you're on fire today. I like woolly Witterings. Or Wittering, yes. Yeah, I like it. Right. Don't use all your brain power, Claire. Save some for next week. Save some for your yarn deal. For your um, work. Have a safe journey, everybody who is going to Yarndale next week. I know we'll probably see you before then, but if some people are going early, have a good journey. Um, yes. We might see some of you tomorrow. Yes. Maybe. Maybe. Yes. I mean, um, that would be lovely. So, And don't forget uh, to check out the Strictly Sock Along on Little Drops of Wonderful. Yes. Don't forget. Yes. Right. right.